Tiara and I am back with another video. Sorry guys, I know it's been like two weeks since I put out my last video. I was on vacation, but I'm back and ready to give you some more content. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I got a natural blowout look for under $30. Now, if you're like me, you want a budget and you need a nice hairstyle on the go, especially when you don't really feel like doing your hair, like you just want something quick and easy. Now these wigs, honey, this is for you. Now I just recently got my hair straightened like two weeks ago while I was on vacation and because my hair is so thick and the heat basically is not my friend, the minute I stepped outside it just went like this and then also I got caught in the rain and I really didn't know what to do with my hair because I didn't want to wash it and go back to my curls because I just got it straightened and I was like I just put all this heat on my hair for the first time in a while. So luckily I had these wigs from Sensational and it really came in handy. Now I have two of them. Uh, one I believe was, I'm gonna put the exact prices down below in the description box, so don't quote me on this. I know one was $16.99 and I think the other one was $27.99 or it might have been on sale and I got it for $16.99 as well. I'm not sure, but both are under $30, which is very affordable and they're good quality hair. So these wigs are from Sensational. It's from their Curls and Kinks and company line and they're half wigs so you can leave your natural hair out in the front they also come in full lace wigs as well but I've never worn a lace wig before that's definitely for another video of me trying to put a lace front on for the first time but I like having some of my natural hair out with the wig so I thought why not get these wigs and try them out now I love this blowout look and I don't really like putting heat on my hair ever since I went natural I don't really like to put heat on my hair that much and this gives you that look without having to really blow out your hair so you could do a, like a blowout with a blow dryer or you could just do a braid out and then brush out your hair after it dries and blend it in with these wigs now I'm gonna show you how I got that look with my hair and on the both of these wigs now I have two wigs for you one is a longer version and one's a shorter version they're very similar, so I just think one's a shorter version of the other, but they have different names. Okay, so Heartbreaker is longer, Rainmaker is shorter, but they're very similar in texture and style. Now, these textured wigs blend well with 3B to 4C hair. I have 4B, 4C hair, so it actually blended really well. I did the test on my family. I wore the wig, and everybody said it looked like it was my hair. They thought I blew out my hair, or if they didn't know me, they'd think it was my hair. So... I'm just gonna show you each wig. So this is Heartbreaker, and this is the look that you'll get with this one. And then this is Rainmaker. So this one's a little shorter, but both are super cute. I have not worn Rainmaker yet, so this will be a first for me on this video. But the style I'm doing, I can just swap them both out. So I'm gonna open up Heartbreaker first. This is the one I've already worn, so it's a little used, but it still has the curl pattern that it came with. So I'm just going to open that up. So this is Heartbreaker. And I highly recommend this if you really need a natural hairstyle on the go and you really don't feel like doing your hair. It's super easy, like super easy. For people that don't really do their hair, this is super easy, I'm telling you. It doesn't take that much work. So I'm going to take it out of the net. Now already you can see the curls on this and it's super soft. It feels just like natural hair does. I believe it's a premium fiber. So it's not, not, it's not real human hair. It's not a human hair wig. But it's super soft, feels just like human hair. And I got it in the color too because that's my natural hair color. In the summertime I do get a few blonde hairs in the front but it's still blended perfectly fine with my natural hair even though like I got those highlights in the front from the sun but this hair is super soft super cute and it feels just like a natural hair blowout guys so you can definitely like run your fingers through these curls to loosen them up a bit if you don't want more of the spiral but it comes in the spiral at first I did run my fingers through the front curls a little bit because I was trying to blend it with my natural hair at first when I was trying to figure out how to style it. But this is the first one. This is Heartbreaker. It's long, it's fun, 
and gives you pinches like that, okay? So I'm gonna put this one down here. And then I'm also gonna show you Rainmaker, which is also super cute. So this is Rainmaker. And so this is fresh out the box. I'm taking the nut off. Never opened it before. It has the same curl pattern as Heartbreaker, so you're still getting the actual texture of the curls when they first come out the package. So this is Rainmaker. It's shorter than Heartbreaker. I'm gonna show you in length the difference. So let me bring it back. So this is what it looks like fresh out the pack, and this is what it looks like a little worn but both look great still. So this is Rainmaker, it's soft as well, super soft, and it's also a half wig, and this is what the inside looks like. Both caps look the same, by the way. It comes with a big comb at the top, and then a comb at the bottom, so you can really stick it in your head. And then it also comes with adjustable straps on the inside, but yeah. Now I think I want to play in Rainmaker first since I haven't worn this one. So what I'm going to do is, is style my hair. I'm going to do just two braids in the front and then put the rest into two big um, French braids in the back or cornrows, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> adjustable straps make sure they're in a place where I want it to be I have a small head so I usually make it pretty tight just so it doesn't look weird on my head <laughs> and take the big comb and place it at the top of my head here and then bring the cap down over make sure it's Make sure it is secure and then bring this down. So this is the first looks of it just on. I haven't really run my fingers through it that much yet. So I'm going to take my braid here and bobby pin that in the back or on the side here. Bring that a little forward. And then I'm going to pin the other one as well. Wow, this hair is super soft, guys. Like, super soft. Like, it feels like natural hair. And what I'm going to do is just kind of separate this and bring it down to the sides and smooth that out and kind of just go like this. 
this just to loosen up that cut right there so it doesn't look like it's like a half leg. But it really does look like it's coming out of my scalp. What you could do though, if you'd like, you could take some of your own hair and just leave it out and put it over if you wanted to and just use like roller sets or perm rods to pre-roll your hair and then you could definitely blend that in but I didn't want to do all that and I'm fine with that little cut there to be honest I don't really mind it the only thing is I would definitely tie this down a little bit just to get that volume down because it looks so high up but then again I have a small head so it could just be because my head's short so there's extra wig <laughs> but this is Rainmaker. I kind of really like this one. I like the length on this one a little better than Heartbreaker. I don't know if I'm just not used to having long hair, but I feel like shoulder length hair is like perfect for me. Like it fits perfectly. And yeah, this is super cute. Let me show you the back just so you can see what it looks like. And you have full motion. It's not a stiff wig. Like it's super light and fluffy and fun and you could definitely do some leave out in the front if you didn't want to do like a braid and hold on a second my puppy's calling me. That was my grandfather. I just fit a little bit. But yeah, the hair is super fluffy and light. Well not fluffy but like light and soft and super playful. You could definitely loosen up these curls if you didn't want that spiral look. I kind of like it. Um, but yeah, it's definitely fun. If you wanted to have your own hair out in the front, you could definitely do like a perm rod set and curl your hair and just have that out as your leave out instead of doing like this braid or whatever. But I really like this hair guys. Like it's so fun. It's super easy. Like I could literally just throw this on and go outside. And that's what I did. Like the last couple days of vacation, like I didn't know what to do with my hair. Luckily I brought one of these wigs with me, which was Heartbreaker. And I just threw it on, braided my hair, and I just went and it was super easy. And it looks like your real hair. It looks like a blowout. It looks like a natural blowout. And it's super affordable, which I love. Like you're not breaking the bank when you buy this wig. Like it's super fun. So yeah, I, I am a fan. Of Rainmaker. I'm feeling myself like I wish I wasn't in quarantine right now like I wish I had somewhere to go so I could go out but I don't so I'll just start around the house <laughs> okay so I'm gonna take this off and then I'm gonna show you Heartbreaker so now I'm going to do Heartbreaker which has been a little worn already so it's not as fresh and clean as Rainmaker and this one is a little longer than Rainmaker so I'm just going to go ahead and put this one on for you guys, just so you can see what it looks like and see the length. So it's a longer, more voluminous look. You get more curls with it. I did loosen up some of the curls on this wig more than Rainmaker. Um, but I love this one too, I have to say, because I don't really wear long hair like that. I usually do bobs or like froes. But this is different for me. I'm kind of feeling it. Hold on, let me show you the back of the wig just so you can see what it looks like. Like I said, it has been worn a little bit, so it's a little more roughed up than Rainmaker. Like inches. Okay, we got inches, honey. Inches. But yes, this wig is giving me super sweet girl next door vibes. Like, I feel like I look super innocent. The same with Rainmaker because it's shorter. I don't know why. I feel like I look like a sweetheart or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, it's so different from what I'm used to, uh, the type of looks I usually do. But when I was looking for wigs, to try and review and stuff like that. I was looking for something that is different from what I usually do, is affordable and also easy for other people to do at home as well. Because I know a lot of people that want to know how to do their hair but don't have the patience or the skills to do something extravagant and this is super easy. As you saw when I did 
the style from my hair before I put the wig on. I did two big cornrows in the back. You don't have to do that. If you can't braid, if you can twist, you can twist it. If you can't twist or if you can't braid, you can just put it into small little buns in the back and it's perfectly fine. So this is super easy for people to do and if you want to try the lace front ones as well I'll put a link below but I love these wigs like for a natural girl these wigs are super easy and my hair was straightened but I didn't have to straighten my hair to do this style in the front like I could have just did a braid out and brushed out my hair and braided the hair in the front and I would have been good so thank you sensational for coming out with these wigs because honey well, quarantine's over. I'm ready to go out, okay? I got inches. I also have a short version. Like, if I need to go to work, like, these are super cute. They're not crazy looking. Like, they're so nice. And if you take care of them, I'm sure they'll last long. But also, they're so affordable that you could just rebuy more if you mess it up or anything like that. But yeah, I love these wigs. I hope you love them too. Girl, I really wish I had somewhere to go right now. Like, I'm looking super cute. Damn. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you like these wigs, make sure you let me know in the comment section.